Guys, welcome. It's James here. I've got Christian Roberts here and Wayne Erfman. Christian, how are you, buddy? Good to see you again. Really good, man. And yourself? Yeah, good, mate. Good, thank you. Um, yeah, and Wayne as well. How are you, pal? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. It was good to meet you at weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Good event as well, wasn't it? I think for the yeah, second bouncing. for the second event and considering the amount of hurdles what everyone had to try and overcome in the, you know, with the, the licensing issue with Bradford and the combat sports and then looking for a new venue, sorting all of that out as well. I think top notch to everyone involved to, yeah, to even get it over the line, you know. Yeah, I think a lot I'll of take, I'll take the, I'll take this opportunity. Um, I take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to Kevin Baldwin, who worked his nuts off um, to, make, to make sure that it went ahead that day. Yeah, well, he was fantastic, mate. Honestly, really, really top guy. It was a pleasure to meet Kev as well when we'd, when we'd gone down and we're getting everything measured up and finding the best spots where this can go and that can go. And, and No, absolutely top guy. But to be fair to you, like everyone involved, I've not met any any bad person that I've got a bad word to say against, to be fair. But so Wayne, obviously yourself, mate, you've now come into the um Spartan Wars alongside Christian. Yeah. So what do you, what what made what made you want to get involved in the bare knuckle boxing yourself, mate? Well, I know I've been watching it about a year or two now. I always said I won't do it, and then it's just grew on me. It's one of them. Is the more you watch it, the more you love it, and then um. Obviously, I've had my first fight. Uh, just really want, want to get into it. And then Kristen gave me an opportunity. We're looking for a business partner. So it's just made sense, really. Yeah, fantastic. And for yourself, Christian, as well, I, I can guess, like, Spartan's grown so much now. Obviously, you founded it. What, was it seven years ago now? <laughs> yeah, um, coming into the year seven now. So, obviously... Um, you know, it's good when, when a business grows, you want to expand it yourself as well, don't you? So how's that work in terms of the geography as well then? Is that is was that something that you can work in terms of Spartan with sort of one more south and one north? No, it, it was kind of the, the idea to bring uh, Wayne in was I need you know, did I and when I first started this, um I could be on my phone for twenty minutes a day. Um and, and that would be my working day complete and then that stretched to an hour and now I'm on it. Well, I'm going for it's a surgery next week to have it removed from the ear. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm on the phone 24-7. Um, now, I'm sure Wayne will tell you being a businessman as well, and he spins many plates himself that, you know, sooner or later, then plates are going to start falling because you're not as quick on your feet as you thought you were, and you can't handle everything yourself, and everything can't be done by you alone. So, you know, it was a natural progression, really. And, you know, with him coming in, he can, he can, he can take control of the tickets, the finances, and stuff. And it leaves me the time to source fighters and build fight cards. And you know, I think what we both bring to the table from one end to the other complements each other. And I think once that fits into place, it's big trouble for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. From from meeting you both and speaking to you as well, I think um, you're both very passionate about it and what you do. Absolutely, you know. Um, so, Wayne, for yourself, mate. Yeah, you, you know, he has got a lot of good ideas, Christian. It's been good to meet him. We've had a good few conversations. I've not revealed too much, but I, I can tell you now, 2024, it is going to be a lot bigger. You know, there's going to be a lot of things coming. You know, it is going to be a, a very busy year, so it'd be good to be on board. I've just obviously, I'm learning, it's, it's new to me at the minute. You know, obviously, I've been watching, but obviously, the business side of it, there's a lot to pick up on yet. I'm looking forward to it. I want to get hands in and, you know, get get involved and get get onto that level with Christian. I mean, I can only yeah, see man. the platform going one way, you know, and that's and that's up and growing. With, and... With the idea is what Christian's got in mind. You know, it, it's, next year it's going to fly. We'll make sure of it. I can yeah, drop you the leak. I can drop you the leak now. That, um, I was toying with an idea three or four years ago. Now, um, I haven't even had a meeting with Wayne about this yet, but I've kind of mentioned it in passing. Um, that I am almost close now to creating the ultimate pit fighter, which will see 12 to 16 heavyweights go in a big house, stay there for two months. One goes out every week with the fight and the two winners battle it out for the cash prize. You know, um, it'll be like a big brother style. I like the ultimate fighter, if you will, but with the pit. So 
I'm trying to pull that together and string that together this year. I know other companies have tried to do it, but I've come to nothing. But, you know, I'm going to put my muscle behind this. And I really believe it's something that the public would watch. Um, and in between all that, we'll be running our shows. Really to get the six branches up next year. Um, you know, including Alex Reed and Charles Shepard. Alex running the cage, Charles running the ring. Uh, there should be three three ring companies when we get up to speed next year. Two Bales companies because New Bloods will be born next year early. Yeah, man, we just we just think we'll be in a strong position if we can get these six branches rolled out and we can get one show, four shows per branch a year. That's one every three months. Is what we're operating now already. So if we can get all six branches doing that, it, it's twenty four shows a year. That's two shows a month on the pay per view app for four ninety nine subscription. That's exciting news, I think, all round, isn't it? That's exciting news for everybody, especially to be able to, you know, that's massive. And that's I know you said the ideas um, as Chris... well. There is other things. There is other yeah, things that we... will be revealed as well. You know, it's it is going to go massive. It's it, you know, there's no no way about it. It is going to take over. There's um, obviously as well, we're just off the back at the weekend with um, with YouTube Wars, Chapter 2, Wayne. Obviously, there yourself, mate. Um, so I was there at the first event and then this one, and I know there were all the problems in terms of the um, license and location and venue and bits, but fantastic event, mate. And, and to see it from like the first one to the second one, even the pay-per-view and the cameras and the audio, you know, from that angle rather than, you know, just the fights because the fights are quality all the time. Just bring Christian back in, mate. Just one sec. Yeah, yeah. There Sorry about guys. Um, I don't know what happened. Then. <laughs> no, it's good, mate. I was just saying as well, um, factoring in with YouTube was, because obviously they've just had the second event christian you, you you've got involvement with that as well alongside simon um i can only see that platform growing and getting bigger it just seems like it's going to be one big snowball effect really and everyone working together to make it the best that it can be it is um and and i do want to stress as well that they are two separate platforms two separate companies um yeah. you know we're helping i'm helping through my company uh, and Wayne's that we're helping them get the, the feet off, off the ground, which they've done now. Um, but I can tell you next year we're going to be very <laughs> selfish. The big the big stars will be applying themselves to the platform. YouTube wars, we will want to be encouraging more YouTube sensations or stars as they call themselves to come on and have a punch up. You know, it's no good calling a company YouTube wars and just having bare knuckle boxes you already know. We've got to give the YouTubers a chance. So, although we will help bolster the cards till it's fully running, um, it will be made up of more YouTubers next year. And I think, to be fair, I think that's what will probably um, help promote it, really, because it's the perfect platform for it, isn't it? You know, there's not another one that's doing it, you know, at the minute. So, um, yeah, no, that would be exciting all around, to be fair. And there's quite a few people on YouTube with a fighting background and, and who do fight that have got good, you know, good subscribers and followers and numbers themselves. So, no, it's... Well, that's what it's all about, oh, isn't it? So Bum it's all about bums on seats now. The, you know, the, the company was set up to to neutralise those people with big followings who, who have got beef with each other, you know. Let's get on, smack each other up. Get your followers to buy the pay per view, you know, and the rest is history. But more importantly, your beef is squashed. So, yeah, it's a good idea. Both platforms next year, I predict, will go well. But I predict Spartan's already there. It just needs fine tuning. It needs fine tuning. And I think now that we move to Sheffield in the bigger arena, I believe that's going to be the start of something big. I believe once we get to capacity on that place, we're going to be making some noise. Real noise. Is that going to be a permanent venue then, Christian, do you think, going forwards, the Sheffield one? Because it's a big site as well, isn't it? It's going to be one of the permanent venues. Um, there's going to be another branch called New Bloods popping up in the new year, and we'll reveal more about that soon. But that's going to be kind of for newcomers or people who want a chance to end. And if they do turn out to be top-notch and stuff, then we can move them over to the pay-per-view platform and the main Spartan Wars for the entertainment alone. You know, but either way, you've got to have a production line of talent coming through the door. 
you know, me and Wayne are well aware that, you know, we need to keep that talent coming through the door to keep going. So, so moving forward for the both of you, obviously you've got massive plans with Spartan and where you want to be. Really exciting news in terms of this with the new bloods as well. Is that is that the one which is going to be focusing around the house and and bringing the fighters in? No, oh. that's going to be a spin-off entity on its own. That's going to be a one-off special. Now, if it's a success, then we'll not just do it with heavyweights. We'll do it with every weight, you know. But start with the big boys because that's who everyone wants to see. Um, so that'll just be run by Spartan Wars itself. That will be something under our umbrella. It won't be a branch. It will be a series that we're trying, and and hopefully it'll take off and people will subscribe to it. You know, but um, the new blood yeah. obviously is going to be new is coming through, but we're going to give them the new chance fighters. to build up the platform, and then once they get it, obviously the good fighters they move on to the better shows. Then, so it's all about keeping it. You know, the new fighters coming through. Yeah, definitely. And and it's good as well if you've got sort of multiple platforms as well that you can sort of, it gives you more scope, doesn't it? And as you know, you know, it's it's very handy to be able to use one fighter or move them around if needed because everyone picks up injuries or what whatever it might be. Um, I'm sure for a, for a promotion side of it, to be able to fill those gaps if they come along, it's going to be a massive positive too. Yeah. I think the biggest positive is going to be you know, we, we don't have to sign people blind anymore. We can put them on a free fight contract to get free fights with new bloods to impress. If they impress, at least we know what we're matching. We've watched the guy fight. We know his capabilities. At the moment, we're trying to match fights, and sometimes these guys have got no records. A perfect example of that was Saturday at YouTube Wars and Jacko Gorman's fight, the first fight on. The other kid got in and absolutely fucking rinsed him, you know? And, and, and we're not to know that because there's no record for the guy. He's having his first ever fight, you know, and he gets in and his hands were like lightning, you know, so. Yeah. You know, Jack got it, Jack, yeah, the young kid with the blonde oh, shade, the spots. Yeah. And that. He was like, mate, what an animal. You know, and, and, fight, and he's mate. never, he's, and he's never, he's, he's, yeah, he's never fought in a ring. He's never fought in competition before. You know, you mentioned though, he's going to be like that. Oh. But when we get this great, new blood. You can see how much he's done Thai boxing yeah. work, Christian. Pardon? With Thai boxing, has he done some Thai fights? I know he said he'd done something with his first bit fight. Right, well, he, he, he's never done bare knuckle. He's never done boxing as a whole. And, he, you know, yeah. and that's all he was allowed to do Saturday. And he didn't do too bad, to be fair. Yeah, no, he was really yeah. good. Um, but, but, but like I say, this new blood. This will stop all of that because we'll have a chance to see people have a couple of fights and then we'll know exactly what we've got on our hands before we put them on the big stage. Yeah, definitely. And then it, obviously you've got them as well for a minimum of three fights, haven't you? So if they do come yeah. out and, and they come out like lightning, then you can extend that or, you know, whatever you want to do. So no, I think it's I think it's definitely the way forward, isn't it? I think all your fighters are contracted now, Christian, aren't they? I'd say 80%. Yeah. Yeah, or 100% of so the ones that are won. Yeah. yeah, damn right. Yeah, yeah. And in, in terms of Christian as well then, because I know people say, so if somebody's signed up for a two-year contract with yourself or, you know, a different company, will that still give them an opportunity moving forward to go onto a bigger platform, given, you know, um, if it was able to do so in terms of your events and and different things going on. It's so Jack Morris, Jack Morris this, it, example. It, right, so you mean if they've signed for us, if they want to go on BKFC, would we allow them to go on BKFC? Yeah. We would. Um, in Section 16A of the contract, there is a buyout clause for any companies that want to come in and relieve the fight under the contract. So, you know, if they mean that much to the promotion and they really believe in them, then they'll pay the get-out clause on yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. If they don't, if they don't, and they only want to use them for one fight, then they won't buy them. Better for them. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It's, it's business at the end of the day, isn't it? And that's what it's all about. Um, well, you've got to understand, me and Wayne are going to spend a lot of time and effort promoting these guys, putting shows on, pulling our nuts off to make shows work, get licenses, put shows on, showcase their skills. And if bigger fish want to come in and get them, then chaos, man. We've, yeah. we've promoted this guy. We've made him known to the world. 
Damn right. So, I mean, it's the same in any type of sports nowadays, isn't it, to be fair? It's the same, you know, it's the same thing. So it's fair enough. The least that they can do is to buy out the contract that they signed up to. So if you don't want to you know, commit, then don't sign, don't, sign on, don't sign the paperwork, basically. But no, I will no. say, I will say, you know, that, that we get this all the time that people sign in and they say, oh, I want to fight in, I want to fight there, I want to fight in, I want to fight there. I mean, I'm old school, man. I know Wayne is, you know, and... and you know, way back when contracts mean something, you sign something. You only sign it if you mean it. You want to, you want to fight for that person. You want to fight for that company. You're going to give your all. You know what I mean? And what we've got these days is because there's so much joy, and there's so many snakes out there that are willing to take them off you without being asked if they're in a contract till you hit them in court. You know, to, they have got a choice to move on elsewhere. They can shit on you and go elsewhere. That's half the problem with this game in the UK. That if half the promoters work together, there'd be no one bumping you for tickets and robbing you. There'd be no one doing it because if they did and you put it up in a single group and no one touched them, what would they do then? Yeah. Yeah. But because everyone wants to control the game by themselves and they're greedy, you know, we all seem to work on our own. We all seem to work on our own and stuff. An interesting fact is you will never see Christian Roberts uh, rummaging around another company for a fighter ever in your life. Yeah. But you'll see plenty of the companies rummaging around Christian Roberts for fighters. Yeah. And yeah, win, yeah. so yeah, he'll yeah. get used to that. He'll get used to that in time, but yeah. uh, not not I in this game. There is a Mike Tyson. Mike Mike Tyson said something once, and, and it rings true in this game that not everybody you fight is your enemy, but never but not everybody beside you is your friend. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's interesting because obviously with any business you've got competition, but I think as well the best business people they invite that competition and they want that competition because you can use it to sort of grow your own business. But it makes it's no a weird sense one for us. Like it. It's it's a weird one for us because we're not actually in competition because we are the only people yeah. that do it. Yeah. So it's we it's weird for us. Although now Wayne's on board and we're putting these ring companies out there. We're very much wanting to be in competition with BKB and BKBTM when we get up to speed. We want them branches to run good pay-per-view shows with top fighters on it. We want them all to do that. You know, nobody owns this game. It's it's a game that you still learn until the day you die. The first thing I learned in this game is it's not the same as any other sport. You know, any other sport where other people see your team in a sport and that they gee, you're up, come on, let's get him there, let's help him, let's go. It's not here. Uh, the trick yeah. the legs from underneath you. Two get ahead of you. So, you know. He will pick that up quick, and he already probably has because he's switched on as I am. So it's it's kind of we're trying to cater for our fighters and have everything under one roof: cage, ring, bales. You know, helping them mentally, helping them physically. You know, I know there's there's gyms we were specifying in the near future to go to and stuff. You know, and like I say, the ace card is yet to come because the documentary will be on TV early next year. No, which channel that? Sorry. Yeah. sorry, Christian, sorry to interrupt. No, just what you said mentally then, just, and it is, people say like your mental forgetting in the pit. But when I first watched, I wouldn't, you know, I said to them, lad, I said, I'll never do this, mate. You know, but, and then as it's grown, man, you know, you get in and you love it. But I was, I had I suffered from depression. I'm not embarrassed to say it, you know. But what, since I've started training and, you know, looking forward to the fights, having the fights, I'm completely off medicine, you know. My head's clear. You know, I've never been in a, in this better place. So, you know, for anyone watching this and looking at it that way, it does help you 100%. You know, I'm a kid's life. It helped me a hell of a lot. So I think, I think with right. anything, I think with anything in mental health, having structure, routine, and yeah. something to keep your mind occupied is half something the battle. Something to work for as well. Like, you know, the end game. So, yeah. Since I, since I started doing the podcasts as well, like a lot of the fighters, you know, I think, fair to say, probably all of them had suffered with the mental health in one degree yeah. or another, you know, to different varying levels. But there's that same, um, there's that same story there. And I think as well, you get, when you get to know some of the guys, it's almost that, the pain that they're living with and what they're dealing with on a day-to-day basis, getting in their ring or going training and working hard, that's what helps the mental health. It's when yeah, they're not in the it. ring, it's when they're not training and they have to deal with the mundane day-to-day shit, that that's when the mental health starts getting on them. A quick yeah. one for you is, I used to have a fighter that fight for us. He doesn't now. 
um, a mock in the name of it. Um, but it wasn't long ago, it was only about a year ago. We had a fighter fighting for us, and he used to come all the time, and he used to get fucking welly. Do you know, uh, I used to think to himself, but oh, man, it looks worse than you did last time. <laughs> so he dad he dad a few fights and that and, and and I went over to him and I said, Listen, you know, I could keep putting you in uh, and watching you get welly, but I'm wondering whether this is actually for you. Uh, and I mean now I don't mean that like like you can't fight, it takes balls to get in and do what you do. But this is pretty ruthless, man, and you're second best every time he said, Don't kick us out, mate. He said, Listen, and he pulled his t shirt up. And I've never seen as many cuts and scars in my life. And I said to him, holy fuck, man, what's going on? He said, listen, since I get in that pit and I get beaten, I don't feel the need to sell farm. I feel like it's being done for me. And listen, that absolutely blew my mind. Blew my mind. And, and, it, and it's real, man. This, this shit is really helping people, man. People yeah, really need this in their life. Yeah, you know, in so, relation... In relation with the mental health bits as well, I've I've only just recently, but I reached out to Andy's Man Club that do some amazing work like up and down the country, and um, I'm going to be sort of partnering and promoting the channel with them as well, just to help sort of spread the awareness and the more people that actually talk about mental health That's issues, it, yeah. and problems. You know, it's 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 a massive thing, like, but. It's tough at times, you know, they've got it yeah, tough at definitely. times, you know. So Andy's Man Club, total respect as well. That they, they, you know, for for everybody, they're, they're open to everyone to go down and join and and just to speak up and, and, and get yeah, out there, yeah. which, you know, I, I, which I'm a massive, massive, um, I've got a lot of love and, and respect for that, to be fair. Christian, yeah, when, cool. when, so let's take it back like seven years then. What? What made you want to actually think, right, I'm going to get this up and running, I'm going to get my own platform, start doing my own shows? Um, I woke up one morning and did, I was sitting, I know this is kids, this isn't clever, I was making a joint in the living room at about 7 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, getting up, and I'm watching the news on telly and two 16-year-olds had stabbed themselves to death in a fight in a bus stop in London. And I just remember thinking, you know, What's going on, man? I don't, they're kids. You know, the 16 year old, hey, why did they have big knives on them anyway? Well, that's the culture in London, I guess, at the time where you've got to protect yourself. But more importantly, lives lost, man. Now, now, I don't know about Wayne, but when I was at school, if I'd beef with someone and that, they'd come up in school, they'd probably sneak one on you, but you'd still meet you after school, it'd be a fair go, you know? And there was none of this. There was no yeah. knives. There was, yeah. I mean, there are the, the odd person had a pen knife and that, but no one had the balls to stab you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, and now, and now you, you fast forward 20 years, 30 years. Mate, I, w I was, I, uh, just to, to sidetrack that answer, I was at the, the train station in Crewe on Saturday waiting for the referee to come with me to get on the train and a taxi driver nearly knocked the lad off the bike. The lad was 15. The lad pulled his bike up, jumped out and chased the taxi driver all over the bus uh, train station with a screwdriver. At like seven o'clock in the morning, I was like, "What the fuck's going on, man?" But no. I watched, I watched that news clip that day, and I thought, "There's got to be a better way than this." And that's when I realised that you could, you you could get two people if you'd reach out to you, of course, to get in a pit, punch shit out of each other, shake hands, have a pint, hug. You know? Yeah. But even if you don't, even if you don't get on after that, they're both alive and both the families are getting. Nine tenths at time though, you'd always see everyone after a fight cuddle and get on. You know. I've made friends, you know, for, for like Tyrone, and you know, I get on with him. I think it's the same one. But uh, like with every fight I've seen, you know, you'd always see, but virtually more or less everyone cuddles after it, and you know, supports each other. Everyone seems to we breed it. Though. We we that's a rule that was made early though. That yeah. You don't have to like your opponent. You don't. You, you know, he could be the biggest prick in the world, but you will respect that he's trained for eight weeks, turned up, and threw hands with you. Yeah. You know, because whatever nerves you had on the build-up to that fight and on the day, whether you won or not, he went through the same thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He deserved respect. So, you, so when, when, was it your debut then, mate, at Fight Fest 4 at the last Spartan? Was that your bare-knuckle <laughs> debut as such on a platform? Yeah, I did have one. I come to one and the little lad didn't turn up. But yeah, that was my first fight, yeah. That's happened and like I said, you know, it was probably Tyrone's first fight as well. So you could have said we might have been a little bit mismatched. They were a foot taller than me. But this is like the new bloods. This, once we get this on the, on the go, you know, 
this is where we could cut any of this out as well. I will I'm say in his defence, so yeah. I will say in Wayne's defence, he lasted longer than Anto. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, to Anto, he, t- he, he told me to say that, Anto. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's 28 after. <laughs> to, be, to be fair to Tyrone, in terms of like his boxing and his capabilities and everything, I, I you know, I, I could pick up on it on Fight Fest 4 because to be fair, Wayne, you took a lot of fucking, a lot of hands off him, a lot of, a lot yeah. of punches and you know, got yourself back in there as well, mate. You know, massive. To be honest, I didn't feel a thing. I had, I had blood trickling down my face. I'm thinking, where the fuck's he bleeding from? It. I'm thinking, where's he bleeding no, no, from? No. And um, and then I realised they were actually me that were bleeding. But yeah, you you don't feel a thing when you're in there. Obviously, nah. when you get out, you feel it. But yeah, with the you can imagine the adrenaline text of her, and you yeah. just you know. No, it's hard to explain. But yeah, fair play, Tyrone. Like I say. You know, it, it, I, I'll be honest, I mean, I'm looking forward to watching some of his other fights. It'd be a shame for him to not get back in the pit, to be honest. But if, if he don't want to, it's obviously it's down to him. But yeah. I think, yeah, I think with um with the pit fighting, is it an eight by eight, Christian, the, the pit? Yeah. And I think for Tyrone, obviously, because he's like six foot eight, isn't he? And yeah. he's obviously, he's got nowhere to move. And and seeing him fight yeah. on Saturday, you can see that actually works the ring. And uses yeah. the ring really well for a big no, guy he, as well. So, he definitely uh, had the advantage over Anto being in the ring, you know, with his height and obviously his boxing experience. But yeah, yeah. Ma- massive reach, hasn't he, he, as well? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's a good fighter, you know. I'm not going to treat yeah. him down. He is, he is a brilliant fighter and fair player to him, you know. And like I said, I'm looking forward to watching his other, any other fights where he's got coming up. Yeah, on definitely. definitely. Yeah, me too, mate. Yeah. Definitely. I think and like I say, and like, and like uh, we tried to clean up yesterday about his behaviour at the show. So yeah. Wayne, in fact, Wayne, in fact, got in touch with him and had a chat with him, um, and he released a statement. Well, <laughs> it never quite is what it seems no. with Tyrone, is it? But it was yeah. as good as it gets, I suppose. But I think he's got his own know. way, like his own. He, he don't give two tosses. He's he's following him or not? He just wants to get in and fight. But deep down, he is a nice lad. You know, you speak to him. I've got time for him. He is, he is the same blow, but yeah. He, after the fight, he didn't show it, you know. He, you know, I think he likes to have that the sports say to him in a way. I don't know. But yeah, he didn't go about it the right way. But after speaking to him, he did apologise and he admitted that he was in the wrong, you know. Things could have gone a lot different, but hopefully moving forward, they will go different. I think I think he already has got a little bit of a fan base on the choir. You know, a lot of other people will, again, want to see him fight again. So, you know, moving forward, I think it, it can only go one way for him in, in all of this stuff. I think I think he's destined. I think he's destined to to sort of he's in his own light. He's in his own lane as such in terms of what he does. And I think with sometimes with people like that, especially in sports, if you take too much of that away from a person, you lose something in the ring or you lose something yeah. in the fighter. Um, so as well, I get that obviously you know, um, and there's so much respect between the fa- between Spartan family as well. I know between all the lads that fight at Spartan so close knit um so things can get a bit personal can't they and people can take it and feel like they're up against everyone i, I know what it's like with like these where you've got group chats going and people are shit talking for weeks and yeah it all adds it all sort of adds to it in a way but um no i mean i respect tyron i've I've video called with him um prior sort of going back a week and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and spoken to um to Tyrone on video, and I think I was one of sort of the few people who who knew that this guy can fight. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, he's got an ex boxing background. He did. He's got MMA background as well prior to that. So, you know, the man's the man's definitely a fighter. I think he's definitely one to watch as well going forward. To be fair, yeah, really good. Yeah, but Anto's Anto's the absolute legend king of the king of the pits and they to be fair yeah Andrew if it were in that pit, i think it definitely would have gone a different way you know i've watched anto for since you know he's always been the one to watch and he is he still is don't, don't get me wrong he's a you know i just think he, he, he had the less advantage obviously being in the ring but fair place for anto for getting in you know you know 100%, yeah 100 percent so in terms of going forward, then obviously, what's what are you looking to finalise something then, Christian? Or can you give out any more details in terms of the um, the Big Brother style getting everyone together? Because I think, yeah, what's the it's plan? early days. It's 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 early days, yeah. Um, but I've got a blueprint. I'm meeting with Wayne next week or this week? Is it next week? This week? Possibly this week. Depending on where. Yeah, we're Thursday. 
Yeah, but well, let's. Well, I'll meet Wayne at some point this week, and I'll sit down with him. I'm sure, one once Wayne sees a blueprint, he'll know what I've got. Um, I'm confident. I'm confident that it'll draw a lot of subscribers. Um, I'm confident to what people want to see. I mean, who doesn't want to see a knockout tournament where there's a fight every Friday night? Someone goes home, and someone's dream stays alive. Yeah. Who doesn't want to watch that? You know what I mean? It's a doggy dog world. Oh, yeah. How, how, so, how, how's the sort of format then, Christian, in terms of that's obviously one fight each week on the Friday? How do you determine who's going to be fighting? That week or in two weeks or a challenge, weeks. a challenge on the Wednesday. The winning team pick who's going to fight for their team and who they want to fight. The okay. losers tidy the house and the winners go out and have dinner with us. <laughs> there you go. Pretty then cool. what more? What bigger incentive do you want? A bit of yeah. a bit of free and every sat and, e and, and every Saturday. Fly down with Wayne in the car, throw two trays of Stella in, lock the door, go home and watch the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Are you planning so. to get some of that footage out as well to so try and get some of the sort of house cam, the training, or are you just going to you are gonna be, you are you are going to be able to subscribe to it and watch all day, every day, if that's what you flick you switch. Happy days, so it's, it's, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? I know, obviously, Dean tried to do the BKB contender and get that. Over well, line, well, Dean, Dean was just about to announce before it went wrong that I was his yeah. advisor for it. Yeah. I know it's a shame, and then obviously now is is you know he's not going to be uh, doing much anytime soon. But I'm sure he'll pick up when he gets out. But you know, yeah, I had this idea four years ago, man, and, and it, it's been sitting on the shelf, you know. So it's something when I speak to Wayne on Thursday, I'm really passionate about, and I really believe it's what the public want to see. A hundred percent. I think it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting, cutting edge. When you get to see a knockout every Friday night while you're having your Chinese. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Eh? But, do you want? No, to be fair, I think that's. I think that's to me. It sounds. It sounds great. And I mean, with the way that social media is nowadays, and obviously YouTube and these different platforms, you know, you get websites that stream and everything else. Um, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it just surprises me that, like, like you say, it hasn't. It hasn't taken off yet. It hasn't happened. No one's got it over the land for whatever reason. Whether that just be down to money, bad timing whatever it is, but you'll know, you guys know yourselves, it's about, it's about the team that you've got around you and you know what you can achieve with that team around you and, you know. Well, the only thing, the only thing that stopped me getting it out there, I was three months from getting it underway, COVID hit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully no more fucking lockdowns. We don't want no, no. more. I don't think the country would stand for another lockdown, to be fair. But... No. No, no do I. No. So in terms of um, yourself then, Wayne, is there any sort of element which you f you, you focus on yourself or do you just type and split it down the middle and share who does what? Or... To be honest, I'm just learning at the minute. You know, there is things to come in 2024. I don't want to say too much just yet. But, yeah, we have got something in place, but I can't reveal that just yet. But, um, yeah, it's something exciting, you know, something to look forward to. But yeah, obviously at the minute it's new to me. I've, I've got my own groundwork company, so but uh, you know, picking up the obviously the fighters I've been watching, but obviously there's the business side of it as well. There's a lot what sure. people don't see. So uh, even I've not seen. I'm just trying to learn, take what I can off Christine at the minute, and then you know, obviously I'll be up to scratch myself. Yeah, definitely. He'll be yeah. fully up to speed. He'll be fully up to speed and running like Carl Lewis by April. No, you worry about it. <laughs> Fantastic. And I bet for you as well, Wayne, it's just it's just exciting, mate, isn't it, really, to sort of be That's able it. to see it. And Yeah, I've always loved it. You know, whoever, I've took like, other people and whoever come and watch it, you know, I've had girls, good, really good friends saying like, oh, watch, come and watch me through my fingers. And they get there and they're, every fight, they're up, jumping up and down, yeah, come on, everyone loves it. And then they see the respect afterwards. People think like, oh, yeah, you're going to go and he's going to be fighting in trade. Gonna be loads of kicking off, and you know it's all bad blood. But it's not. They see the respect the fighters have got for each other afterwards, and you know I think that's the main thing. After it, you know, watching the respect everyone's got for each other. Yeah, yeah, everyone not batters each other. You know, but end of it, you, you walk out with, with respect. You know, another you know. thing, another thing as well that I wanted to just pick up on. Um, Fight Fest Four. It was such a family occasion as well. There were so many. Children, kids there supporting families, and you know, and and to be in a position because you've had never had any bother, Christian, have you? At any 
any of your Spartan Wars events whatsoever. Only off Tyrone. Yeah, well, <laughs> Tyrone, Tyrone. Do you know what Tyrone? To be fair, I think it, I think it all got a bit blown out of proportion. To be fair, and I've been to events before, and I've seen a lot worse stuff happen regarding Tyrone. So, um, no, I think that's it's just a it's a sad reality, isn't it? But unfortunately, when people are looking to get on in life and and do well and perform and grow a business, there's always people there that want to knock knock it down and see it fail. And um, but no, I, the event was fantastic, mate. And like I said earlier, to to get it to where it was in such a short period of time, given the the obstacles, I think it's massive credit to everyone. To be fair. But, big out, and we, big, big you, shout out, big shout out to my friend Paul Anderson, owner of the Georgian back eating. Um, went above and beyond the extra mile man to get that show on, he wouldn't let us bail, you know. Yeah, no, it was fa absolutely fantastic to be fair. I, I, it was, and I mean, we we're all geared up. And the biggest thing, of course, was going to be we're going to be with the elements, and it was forecast to absolutely piss it down. And I don't know who blessed us, but actually. Yeah. It was cracking day, wasn't it? Sun was out. Me and oh, Simon, me and, me and Simon had been monitoring it all week, and, it, and we knew on Thursday it was going to be player sat in. Honest to God, we were cartwheeling and all sorts. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, but no, again, massive, massive credit because different, and it's a totally different vibe to the, to Spartan as well. The, the YouTube, but I think ring having a, a ring there and fighting in the pit, it is. I mean, to me, the pit. To be there as a spectator, you're so close to the action. Literally, you know, you're right, you're right there, and you can see everything, can't you? You can see everything that's going on. But um, yeah, but both, both both completely different, but work work well together as well. So <laughs> it's going to be exciting to see everything moving forward in terms of Spartan Wars and YouTube Wars, and then as well, like you say, Christian, you've got these um, branching off as well in terms of of what you're looking to do yourself with with Spartan and, you know, little bits and pieces. So it's all exciting news, I think, for everyone. Um, you have to definitely keep in touch and let us know um, in terms of when you get in development, suspect, you know, with the with these branch offs as well, with the new bloods and then also with the Big Brother style uh, show, because I think there'll be a massive amount of interest in terms of that one. Absolutely. Are you going to do that on a channel? Christian, is that going to be going over? Um, it's going to be streamed to our YouTube channel. And are you going to do like a membership or something along those lines for people to be able? Yeah, to I mean, I can't. I don't, I don't want to reveal too much, but what basically this? It'll cost you less than a pound a day if you want to watch it all day every day. Yeah. Now there's thirty days in a month, so if you want to pay for the three months, I think it's going to last for ten weeks. So we'll run it for the, the twelve weeks. Uh, if you want to buy that, we'll do it at a discounted offer. It will be cheap but the more subscribers we get the better it'll be for the guys we you know we'll set a good purse you know the people we, we won't see them go away with nothing we'll make sure to compensate and give them the time up but the winner will ultimately win excuse me and what's what's the weight classification on that one christian sorry heavy heavyweight division 16 stone and above the first series would be if we're and happy to run it once we spoke about it it will be the heavyweights first because that's what i think in my opinion everybody wants to see yeah, yeah, just see the big knockouts and and it is the same with um the new bloods as well. You're gonna concentrate with heavyweight division with the new bloods as well, or is that mixed? No, so, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna, gonna run way. exactly like Spartan Wars, but for newcomers. Okay, okay. So it's you so you'll have three. multiple divisions in that one as well then? Yeah. Uh, it's just gonna be another version of Spartan Wars, but for beginners. And once you've had three fights, me and Wayne will sit down and Wayne will tell me. You know, I think he's good enough to be passed up to the next one. So do I. So he goes up to the main platform. Then what it's going to breed in time, which we haven't added, is eventually their free fight is going to be up and there's going to be three or four fighters that we think, fuck me, they're going to be well good on there. But then there's going to be three or four fighters who've been fighting shit. So they're going to find themselves on new blood. Yeah. yeah. So not only so the big as well. Yeah. That, that, that's really interesting as well because it's going to give the fighters something else because no one's going to want to go drop down into a different sort no, of yeah. playing field. That is, that's the point. But then no one's going to want to. Nobody's nobody's going to want to come off pay per view. Nobody's going to be one of a fighting for less money. Yeah, 
and and nobody's going to want to stay off pay per view, and no one's going to stay want to stay fighting for less money. They're going to want to be getting up where that money is, man. So competition is yeah. going to be fierce, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And do you, do you see at the minute, Christian, like the heavyweight division as something that there could be better heavyweights about in the country at the minute as well? Do you think, or do you, or do you think they were lacking a few, if you like, or you know, is that something? I, I, have I have I got the strongest heavyweight division in Britain? No, um, BKFC have, and they've got the, the strongest every division because they're made up of fighters from me and other companies. So. They're taking the cream of the crop at the moment from everybody, but our, our goal for next year is stabilise ourselves. Make fighters want to stay, man. Make them want to stay with us. Make them show them our platform, big man. That's where we're at next year. But, you know, we won't stop anyone fighting anywhere they want to fight. As long as it doesn't interfere with Spartan plans, like I touched on before, you know, we're all good. But there is a few things we need to talk about behind the scenes to weigh in about just slightly modifying contracts and making it beneficial for Spartan Fight Club that these people do go on other platforms and do other shows. You know, as long as Spartan benefits and we're not putting our time and effort out there for free, we don't work for free. You know, I do think we're going to be millionaires in this game. Probably not, unless we hit a big pay-per-view or anything else. If, you, if you're in it for to become a millionaire, you've got to struggle. It's hard, man. This game's hard. Yeah. I've been here seven years. Look where I am. You know? And I've yeah. worked tirelessly for seven years. Now Wayne's coming in. He's, he's charged with stretching that even further. That's a hard task, man. It's a hard task, yeah, but we'll do yeah, it. I can, I can you know, and we've done it the right way. We've done it the right way. We haven't done it with throwing hundreds of thousands of pounds at it. Like, I'm not going to give anybody airtime who we don't like. But there's people out there that are through hundreds of thousands of pounds in this. And guess what? You know, fucking further on than I am. But this year, we will be closing the ground. Don't you worry about that. And we've got to unrivaled atmosphere at this club that everybody's there for each other. It's one big family. No other company in this country in this world has got that. No, respect to that, mate. Respect to that. And I, I know firsthand like how close all the boys are and how much they you know they they've love and respect they've got for you as well. And like you say, it's not just about the fighters and it's all it's also about being there at the end of the phone if they're struggling and you know, I know all the boys know that the support's there, you know, within the group massively, but it's it's actually really, really nice to see. That was one of the first things that, like, stood out to me as <laughs> soon as I um, started meeting some of these lads, like, so we met Gary Slater and people like this and started talking to them. And then you, you, you start understanding, actually, how these people are getting by all the time and they're always there to, to help and be on the end of the line, which is massive nowadays, isn't it, to be fair? There's people that fight at this fight club of ours that, that aren't very good fighters. But they have to belong there. And, and who are we to take that away from them? If that's what's keeping them in line, that's what's keeping them getting up every morning with a purpose, that's a win, though. 100%. You know, you know, you, you cut the people who come and get punched all over are as important to me as the people walking around with belts. Every yeah. single person that climbs over those bales is fighting something because normal people don't want to get in an eight foot by eight foot square and bludgeon someone to death. So, you know, well, half to death, you know, no pun intended. We don't want any deaths on our hands, but you know what I'm saying? To get in yeah, there yeah. and bludgeon until one of you are gone. Now, to do that, you've got to be fighting some serious stuff, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and I think I think there's a lot of that, isn't there, within the sport in general, and a lot of the fighters, and probably people around as well. You have to be, you know, not just the fighters, because I think it's just everywhere nowadays that people are struggling, and we all know, we're, you know, everyone knows they're struggling, and it, you know, it doesn't even need to be in relation to combat sports. Just in general, you could be a postman struggling with with life at the minute. You could be doing anything, so. It's all. It's I'll reiterate. Just... I'll reiterate again that the, the amount of times, and I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. Uh, the amount of yeah. times that I've had interviews, and the interviewer has said to me, "Christian, you're really saving people's lives here." Do you know what I mean? You're really making a difference. Of it. Listen, they've saved me as much as I've saved them. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say. If they, if yeah. they, if they hadn't. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing for them now, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I can guarantee no. you that. Yeah, massive respect for that. But I think that's the thing, isn't it? I think honour and respect and loyalty and everything else goes a long way in life and any any business or any 
platform or occupation, whatever you do. I think people go about in life treating people the way they want to be treated themselves and showing respect and giving respect and earning it as well. We'd all it's be about how you bred into it. it. It's about how you bred into it. I don't care what anyone says. If you go and live in an estate and each house costs one and a half million pounds, yeah? The odds are your neighbours aren't going to get on with you. They're going to look down the nose at you. Not. You grow up on a council estate. You're walking other into people's houses, borrowing sugar and doing what you want. Listen, that's what we want here. That's yeah. what we want here. Now, your bigger corporations like your BKFC and the others, sure, they've got lads who know each other and that, but they're not there for each other. They're all individual athlete stars, and they're there yeah. to make that company the biggest they can be. With us, the beauty of us is people come and watch pit fight and they look at it and think, I can fucking do that. I could do that. But you, you go watch the BKFC and you see two guys dancing around, highly skilled, you know, you're going to think, fuck that. <laughs> you know? But when you watch that pit yeah. fight and you think, that's a bit of me there. It's a bit so of me. That's what it was with me again, you know, getting get to know the lads and why they actually do it. You know, once you actually meet them and, you know, you start watching, you keep going, you know, like I say, at first time, oh, I'll never do that. But then it just grows on you. It is, you know, it is, like I say, it's a big family. Everyone helps each other right behind the scenes, you know. It is good to be involved. You need to be a part of it. And that's my, that's my, forget about creating Spartan. Forget about where it goes. Even if it goes from the, the UFC from here, it goes as big as that. Forget that. My proudest achievement at the moment is bringing a bunch of disturbed, crazy bastards together who now <laughs> care for each other. Yeah. They care for each other, man. They're, if you watch on Facebook and someone says, can't be asked with this anymore, I'm fucking done with it all. You watch how many fighters jump at that post. What's up, mate? Inbox yeah. is open, mate. What's up, mate? What's up? Yeah. And that and that is the proudest bit of it all. <laughs> you can't put a price to that either, can you? There's no price no, you can put to that Christian whatsoever. Well. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I, I, I know exactly Christian what you mean. I've seen it. That, you, know. yeah. I you, don't have to, you don't have to hate each other. You're in there to do a job. Punch fuck out of each other. Shake hands. Have a pint. But listen, mate, when, when you go home and that, and weeks after the fight and someone's down and that, he was at the show. You've shared a bond that most people will. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So, so you you see that bond, that bonds people together and creates really good friendships, man, and really good people that care about each other. And that, like I say, is the proudest bit of it all that people are now actually helping each other without even telling the bosses or the boss or whoever. I'm getting people coming to me paying the ticket money when they were to fight. I'd go, fuck it, I thought you couldn't sell your ticket. Such and such sold them to me and didn't take any money off me. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know? It's um, it's it's going to be a really in interesting year, I think, coming ahead. I know we've not yet seen how, uh, where we are now. And obviously, yourselves, December the 2nd, uh, Sheffield, you've got the next Spartan event. Um, can you give us a bit of an insight into that? Some of the guys who were fighting, some of the guys on the card for that day, for that day. Well, most of it's the same, but we've got to change four or five fighters. Um, Excuse me, sir. Sorry about that. Just on the door open on my head. Um, yeah, we've got four or five fighters that are going to be changing, but the consensus is the same. I've got to speak with Andrew Anthony and see if he wants to be added to the card. I did look at his cut on his eye on um, Saturday. It wasn't a bad cut. But boy, was it in an awkward spot. Yeah. Um, so I don't know whether he'll be ready or not, or he'll guest appear again. But, you know, Nathan Dixon against Gilberto Aguila from Mexico. You know, Gilberto's coming over. He's already lightweight, middleweight world champion. He's, he's aiming to become first three-weight world champion and dethrone Nathan. Nathan will be at the heaviest he's ever been. Gilberto will be at the lightest he's been since birth, I think. Um <laughs> Are they both still so, on yeah, the feet, Christian, Christian, as well? Are both, are yeah, both yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, listen, so... somebody, somebody's O has got to go. 100%, mate. That's going to be a hell of a fight, isn't it? Absolute. Yeah, that's going to be a cracker. I look forward to and that. And he's a, he's, a, he's a model pro, Gilberto, as well. You know, I, I made the fight and I thought, you know, if he struggles in any way at this weight, Nathan's going to have him. And then, you know, I spoke to his coach the other day. He said he's two and a half kilo out of weight. I mean, he was still six weeks away. So oh he's going he's gonna to be ready, man. He's going to be ready to go. And them Mexicans are tough, man. They're yeah. tough. But Nathan, Nathan hasn't put a foot wrong in the pit so far. He's stopped every person who's come in front of him. It'll be interesting, man. It's going to be a tough one to call that one, isn't it? But there's going to be a winner. That's it. There's no, you know, no no draws called whatsoever, Chris. So 
Yeah, cracking. Absolutely cracking, that one. Now, who's fighting uh, heavyweight, Christian, at the next one? Uh, off the top of my head, I haven't got a fight card in front of me, so you've got to understand I do a different fight card every other day. No, um, no, no. So, so, but we were, we are relaunching a revised fight card this weekend coming because I've got to make changes to some of the fighters, obviously, that are pulled out now through injury and some of the fighters that you know, we're unsure of. So I can tell you we'll have a minimum of 20 fights on the day and we'll have a minimum of six title fights on the day. Fantastic. So that's going to be a hell of a card then. I know with the fighters anyway, obviously, you're not going to, you know, there's no bum fights whatsoever, is there? And uh, Spartan, absolutely not. Um, that's got I think to there's be a card a, out there. Yeah, it's got to give um, give you great. It makes complete sense to me as to why you're almost creating this, this sort of two division as well. So you've got fighters that are going to come up, but then fighters that are going to drop down as well, obviously, in terms of that. Is it hard? Is it difficult when obviously you've got fighters and like you say, win, lose or draw, they all get the same amount of respect. You know, sometimes a guy can lose and get more respect than the guy that's beating him, you know. And um, is that something where it's difficult for yourself as promoters? And obviously you're close to all of these boys. But if you're struggling to set some of these guys up for a fight or you're thinking I can put him in, but you know, and, and obviously these guys want to fight, but is it difficult to get the levels at times in order to to make it as even as possible, if you like? I mean, the thing to... One of the points I'll make is with the pit, you can afford to be a bit of a gulf in the in the class, you know? There, there, can, there can be a boxer who's had 30 fights against a boxer who's had eight fights, because when he gets in there, I, I don't care how many you've had. If you get tagged, you're out, and that's the end of it. And in that pit, as Wayne will tell you, when you come to that middle and start throwing down, man, it's 50-50. Whoever's going to land is going to win. Because if you hit them clean enough, that's the end of it all. You know, so yeah. you do get away with the levels a little bit in the pit. Um, not so much in the ring. It's very unforgiving in the ring. If you've got someone unskilled and someone skilled in the ring, then you, you are going to see the skilled guy tanning. Yeah. Now, if you're in the pit, you've got a skilled and an unskilled guy. If the unskilled guy lands clean, I don't care who you are, you're still going to sleep. And that's the end of it. So you can let, get away with it here and there a bit in the, the pit. It's not hard to match fights in the pit, really. But um, it, you, you have got to be careful in the room because that can, that can be where it really goes wrong. You know? It's about heart as well, isn't it? A lot of heart in the pit and exchanging and who exchanges and who connects. And like you say, it can be anyone's game, can't it? To be fair. It's it's who's got the best chin, who's got the biggest heart, and who can hit the hardest. You know, in in, in, all, in that order, you mix them all together, do what you want. But you know, you're getting you're taking bats every two three seconds in that pit nonstop. You know, in a ring, you can get on the back foot and avoid a bit of damage in that, but that's not happening in the pit. So yeah. it's just a sheer strength. It's just a sheer show of toughness and toughness. I think that's what I love most about the sport as well, because I mean, I've been to many boxing fights and glove fights. And to be fair, like the, the atmosphere, the, the fact that any one punch can just end it, like it, it can just be ended within a second, any punch. Um, to me, it's, it's more exciting. You're seeing more fights, you know, and I don't know. I don't, I'd, I'd urge anybody that's not been to a bare knuckle event. To, to go along and especially like I say to Spartan as well because it's such a safe environment you know um, been doing it for years you've built your own reputation and and I'm sure that that's something that you you know you're really proud of and, and credit to you for that as well and um, long may it continue so if we start start sort of wrapping up then so for yourself Christian your aim now obviously you've got December the 2nd and then I'm guessing break off then at that point, Christmas, see out the new year, and then start hitting 24 with a bang. Break off for Christmas. Break off for Christmas and New Year. Kidnap the dude in the top right-hand corner there. Buff him <laughs> up. Get him back in New Year, and and he'll be good to roll in New Year, and he'll be fully up to speed, hopefully. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, and I'm sure you... Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you can't wait, when can you? Just yeah, forget? no. I just want to be more hands-on. I just want to get hands-on and, you know, but yeah, obviously, it's, you know, it's, I just need to learn a lot more of Christine, yeah, and then I'll be there. 
fantastic. And if you're a businessman and you know businesses anyway, you're instantly going to yeah, add a lot of value to the, you yeah. know. But, well, that puts him one. That puts him one ahead of me, anyway. So we're good. <laughs> Wayne, for yourself, mate, if you've got anybody that you want to give a mention to, um, you know, any any anything at all, buddy. Uh, give a what a mention to, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if there's anybody you want to sort of give a shout to, or any, yeah, um... Christian, really, I just appreciate Christian for giving me the chance. You know, obviously, getting me not just. Become business partners, but obviously with the fights as well, you know, he's helped me a hell of a lot. And you know, anyone else struggling with mental health, I don't mean to go on. If anyone looks on my Facebook, will know the you know, past 12 months, two years, I've been through a hell of a lot. So I don't struggle in silence, you know, there's always someone to help, you know. And like anyone looking down, a lot of people think, like, oh, you've got burn knuckle boxing, you know, it's rough. The weather's been, I'll tell you, you know, it's yeah, it's rough in the pit, but it's not, you know, it's a family outside. and a very enjoyable thing you know once you've been once you know anyone looking at i've just have a quick look watch purpose in and then see and then hopefully you'll come along as well wayne wants yeah. to give a shout out to archer as well yeah big up my lad archer my little boy <laughs> respect to that mate and, yeah uh, obviously oh, he's my number one fan he's uh yeah he loves it i know you've been to thailand recently wayne as well and had a hell of a hell of a trip out there and i think you're, go you're going back again aren't you you're going to be heading back out and looking just after the next fight yeah i might just try and squeeze a couple of weeks in just before christmas just had a friend come back as well who, who's got a youtube channel and he's just had two weeks there. he flew back today so he's yeah he's been doing a bit of content about you know thailand and what there is out there and it looks fun to be fair he said he's definitely he'll, he'll be going back as well but and for yeah. yourself, Christian, as well, mate. Anybody that you want to to give a mention? Uh, just again, I'll show Wayne out for you know coming on board at the right time. You know, it, it was kind of getting difficult, man, to run everything and spin the plates, as I mentioned earlier on. So big shout out to him for having the balls to step up and try something new. Um, shout out to me partner um, and my kids, really. And apart from that. Um, just keep your eyes peeled, man. This is going to go big. 100%. I mean, just for just from sort of what you've shared tonight, like there's there's so much going on, obviously, and I really appreciate you both coming on and sharing that with us as well. And I look forward. Don't to forget, seeing don't forget, you. don't forget. Sorry, we've got Spartan Wars Mexico starting in February as well. I was going to mention actually, I've heard Spartan Wars has gone international. Mexico is that is is that with Nath's opponent uh, on December second? Yeah, it's Gilberto oh, yeah. and his coach, uh, Jill Nava. They're, they're going to start running a few things over there, start tryouts, start having a few shows, and the cream of the crop will come over to us and fight. So, again, it's an another opportunity. And it's like your football clubs having feeder teams that can then produce talent and send it across as well. So, lots and lots so big, of... And one more, one more big shout-out to all the staff behind myself, Wayne, and the others who help and chip in every week, you know, it, and every day. You know, without you guys, we couldn't do it. Most of all, the fighters and fans, without them, we're nothing. Yeah. Yeah, respect. I mean, at the end of the day, I've always said in business, the, the bosses are whether's turning up and paying for the ticket or whether's buying the product. So, um, Correct. yeah, absolutely. And I mean, like I say, they couldn't be coming to anywhere where it's got a reputation. Your reputation's never been tarnished, and I can't see that happening anytime soon. Um, so massive respect in terms of that. I, I can't wait actually to get my boy across as well, come to the first event and come because he's dying to, to come along and, and watch. So, um, But for both of you, Christian Wayne, massive respect. Um, massive congratulations. And I just can't wait to see it all moving forward and, and see what 2024 is going to bring. I think it's going to be very yeah, exciting, hopefully. Respect. Guys, I'm going to end the stream here, but what we'll do is we'll have another catch-up soon. And um, just don't forget, December the 2nd, Sheffield is where the event is. You can get in touch with Christian. I'll put links in the uh, video as well so you can get in touch, get your tickets, and um, hopefully see you see you there on the 2nd. Yeah, man. Thank, thanks for the...